The new Power BI card formatting is one of the biggest updates we've had in years, and it finally lets you build truly modern KPI cards. In this free four-part mini course, I'm going to show you exactly how to use the new card, starting with the basics and working our way all the way up to advanced design. Let's jump in. This is part three of our series, where we'll explore advanced features of the card, such as the hero image, advanced layouts, and next level card design. Now, if you haven't yet, check out part one and then part two of this series first, which covers the new card basics, formatting, reference labels, and categories. All right, so now it's time to add the last layer of the card and that is the standalone hero image. So if I just click on a card here, you'll see here you have this section called image. So if we open this up and we'll go to gross sales here, you can see that I've added this image to the card visual. And all I've done here in this example is chosen select from data and I've dragged in the manager URL field. I've adjusted the image height. And the way I did this where I'm not showing an image on net profit, is just simply by turning image on and not putting anything in here because I just didn't want the image of the manager to duplicate based on the card. And in this button slicer, I have it set to single select for selection. So then that way it's always going to show the first manager in view. So this is just an example of one way you might choose to utilize cards. Now in terms of design, we can do a little better here. So if we look at this example, we can see we have a similar setup. The only difference is instead of putting the hero image in this card visual, I decided to add a second card and only drag in the territory manager. So within the secondary card, all we have is callout and hero image. Let's go to format your visual callout. You can see we have territory manager and we have our value, which is the name. We have our label, which says territory manager. And we also have our image that we dragged in. So these three pieces all represent callout. This fourth piece to the left is the image. So this is the part of the card that's not part of callout. So we can see here that I just simply dragged in the first manager URL. Now to get it to look like this, remember we have to go to cards and then layout. So right now we can see here that our image is the first part of our card followed by reference label and callout. We don't have a reference label here, so it's just going to be image and callout. And the callout is going to represent 78% of this entire space going horizontally. That means that our hero image is representing 22% of our space. Let's take this one step further. In this one, we can see we've added an additional measure called product sold. So let's quickly look at the layout of this card visual. We have a vertical for the categories, category header is on the left-hand side. We have three cards and we're saying we would like them to go horizontally. Within callout, we can see that we have it middle aligned. We can see that our reference label layout is left aligned in a vertical format. And then if we look at cards here in layout, we can see we have a vertical alignment for our cards with callout coming first, representing 55% of the box followed by reference label here, and we do not have an image in the card. So then therefore a reference label would represent 45% going vertically within each of these cards. Now let's click on the card above, and we can see the only difference here between this one and the previous example is that we actually added a reference label here at the top right corner. How do we format the layout of the card? Remember, you're always gonna go to your cards and then layout. Now to better show you how this works, let's go to this example right here. And this part is critical to truly understanding how the layout works of the card. We're gonna to go to cards and layout. Now the first thing you need to understand is related to the components of the card. So let's look at this example here. We have a horizontal arrangement with image and callout being the first two components. Now your callout size can always be adjusted right here. So we have it set to a 75%. What this means is that our image is going to take up 25%. We have it going first. And then our callout is going to take 75% of the remaining. 
Now, if we didn't have a reference label here, the image would take up the entire 25% of this visual box itself. But what happens in a collage is that when you have a third component, it'll split your visual box in half, and then that last third component will take up 100% of the space. So let's look at this vertically. It's always gonna start at the top, so we have our image here, followed by callout, image taken up 25%, callout taken up 75%, and then our reference label taking up 100% of half of our visual box. Now this is a collage view. If we wanted to do a normal horizontal with no collage, you can set it up like this as well. Now you can see it's truly horizontal, meaning all three components are horizontal. Callout value is taken up 75%. So what that means is that the other two components will be split between 25%. Same with vertical. Do that and drag it down. We can see that callout value is 75%. The order is showing image first, so it'll be here. Reference label will be at the bottom. We do have another option here under collage called reverse. Now what this would do, we'll flip it because if we're going horizontal, it's always going to show two components at the top of the horizontal alignment. But if we wanna flip it, we can now show the third component at the top and then those first two components at the bottom. And obviously you can do the same for vertical if you'd like to do that. So let's go through some of these real quick so you can really see how it's working. The order here is call out image reference label. That makes sense, 75%, image is 25%, and our last one represents 100% of half. This next one, call out is first, reference label second, so 75, 25, and then the image would take up the second half at the bottom. Let's look at image or reference label. So this one's a little interesting, right? Our callout value says 75%, but notice how our callout value is the last part of the order. So that'll always take up 100% of the second half of the card visual. Now we can't adjust the image size of the reference label, so what it does is just split it in half. So 50-50 for those two right there. All right, this one put re reference label 25%, callout 75%, image at the bottom, and then this one split up the reference label and image 50-50 where the callout is taken up 100% of the second half of the card visual. And we can flip it. So again, a lot of flexibility here with our cards. Once you get really good with these cards and you've mastered all of the formatting and layout options, you can truly make these look really nice. So the way we formatted this one, we go to cards, layout. We can see we did a horizontal alignment. We knew we wanted our image to be the first part of the card, followed by callout. And the callout represents 70%, and we played around with this to make it work. So we have that, and we know the reference label will be pushed to the bottom. And for multi-category layout, we decide to go with vertical, so coffee is on top of the T right there. For our header, we decide to go with the left position. For our reference label, layout we decided to go vertical so all three reference labels would be stacked on top of each other we made sure our padding was properly adjusted so the box that carries our reference labels is aligned with the call out and image portions right above and the result is this really cool visual that we have where we can evaluate manager performance for gross sales and net profit using these slicers here at the top now, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to support the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification button. If you'd like to dive deeper into Power BI UX UI design, feel free to check out my course links in the channel description. Next, go ahead and check out part four, which is our project. In part four, we're going to build this UX UI designed card visual together, step-by-step, -step, completely from scratch.